All right then, so in this video, I just wanna take a quick sidestep to talk about this property right here, the ID, because at the minute we're saying that this must be of type GraphQL string. Now this is fine, and if we make a query from the front end, we're always passing through the ID as a string. That's absolutely fine. And if we look at the root query type, we can see that when we make this query, we're passing through a string right here. This is what GraphQL wants from us. So this is gonna work, but if we take away the quotations here and just pass through one without the quotations, then this is not gonna work. It says expected type string found one. So we're no longer passing a string here, we're passing an integer, I guess. So this is fine, like I said, if you want to work this way with strings as your ID, that's no problem. You just need to make sure that you always pass through this as a string right here. However, if you want to be a bit more flexible, we can use a type in GraphQL called a GraphQL ID. So I'm gonna show you how to use this type now. First of all, I'm gonna neaten this up a little bit so we don't go off the screen grabbing stuff. And then I'm gonna get GraphQL ID from this GraphQL module right here. So down here, instead of the ID being of type GraphQL string now, I'm gonna change it to GraphQL ID. And also, not just there, but here as well, where we're saying we want the ID property inside the query. So we're saying now this type must be of GraphQL ID, not necessarily just a string. So if I save that now and come back over here, I'm gonna delete all this junk from the top and press enter. Now, if we look at this root query type over here, we're saying the query can be made and the ID must be an ID type, not necessarily a string. Now, if I was to make this query again with a string, then this still works. Passing a string through here is absolutely fine. But if I was to take this off and pass through one without the quotations now and try this, it still works, all right? So it works with or without a string. That's cool. Now, you might be thinking, if this is of type ID now right here, okay, then it's not a string anymore. So how can we use the ID to find a book? Because all of the IDs inside this object in this array, they are all strings. So how can we use a type ID to find a book when the ID is a string? Well, in JavaScript, there's no type of ID, right? And when we get the ID on this thing right here, then it becomes a string for us to use inside the result function. And I can demonstrate that. So I'm just gonna console.log a type of, and then, oops, we don't want this to be in capitals. So let's do that again, console.log, and then type of, and we want to log the type of args.id. So if I save this now, I'm gonna refresh over here and make a query. Now, even though I'm passing in something without quotations, when I press play and go over to the console here, we can see that we get a string um, logged as the type of this args.id. So even though we're saying that this is of type GraphQL ID, that is just for GraphQL's benefit and querying. When it comes to us using it down here, it's of type string. So we have no issue finding a book with the ID right here.